Well folks, as you can see, we got the Kubota down here in the driveway and the loader's off of it. I pulled that off last night and we're going to be doing the throw-out bearing for the clutch today. And my dad was here working on this and he got everything disconnected. So you can see we got our fuel line off, hydraulic line, hydraulics, got the tachometer cable off, tie rod, and all the electricals unplugged and everything. Got all the bolts out of the bell housing, so those are all ready to come out. And subframe still on with the loader, and it's still bolted onto the front half, so that'll be holding up our front. So that way we can just roll it apart, and we can get to the clutch and everything. So that ought to work out pretty well. But this is the bearing. It's going to be replaced, so hopefully everything will go fairly easy. It looks like it shouldn't be too much to put on. And then that will hopefully get rid of this grinding noise that we have in the clutch, which is being a real pain. So I'm going to be doing a video today. I'm going to set it up so you guys can see us split it apart. And we'll see if we can't get the bearing replaced. Duck Dynasty. All right. Yeah, you could. I like one of them guys. It could be an extra. <clears throat> I mean, you tried doing that stuff. It's going It's a piece of metal there. Yeah, it's metal. Yeah. Nice clutch. I think you can. Well, that's the clutch material, right? Yeah. It looks it's like it's quite, got. It's yeah. It looks like it's got quite a bit left. It was still getting quite a bit of grease it's spinning, but all right. I don't know how much you guys can see, but right now I'm taking that grease fitting out because this is the bushing that the bearing is on. As you can see, I can spin it, and we got the clutch fork off. I just got to finish back in that grease fitting out, and this can all slide apart that way. We can drive the bearing off the end of it. So, grease fittings out. Now hopefully this will slide out okay. There you go. And it's got one seal there for the grease. And that's the bearing we got to replace there. That's the throw-out bearing. Alright, I was able to get the old bearing driven off the shaft, and we got the new one on here now. So we cleaned out the inside, and that's all re-greased. As for the tractor, I got the bell housing wiped out, and I also got the drain hole there unplugged, because that was full of crap. So we got the shaft cleaned off, 
and I think most of the rattling, it was coming from the bearing, which you could tell was worn, but the end of the shaft here, it's pretty well beat up because where it sits inside of here, which would be inside of this plate here on the clutch, it was really dry, it had a lot of powdery um, clutch material in there, and it was a little bit scored, so I think what was happening is when you clutch this was moving around in there, it's tough to tell, and uh, the splines on this are also a little bit worn too, but they should be able to make it through the winter, and then like when we go to restore it in the spring, I'll probably end up getting another clutch set up for it, but anyways, we got everything cleaned up, so we're going to start putting everything back together again, we got the uh, fork and everything out of here and that's gonna get that's my dad's cleaning up that right now and we, we put that back in and that's gonna get greased up and then hopefully everything will slip back together good and if we're lucky we won't have any more noise here, over here he's got one here oh i just want to scrape off this so you don't push all that stuff into into the hole with the Well, as you can see, the Kubota's all back together, and we put the loader on it last weekend. So the clutch pedal ended up getting the clutch pedal stopped back on there. That bolt was originally missing when I got this, and this pedal would actually push down until it hits the loader frame, which was way too far. So that's all set. Clutch works really nice now. It grabs very well. It doesn't grind anymore or anything like that. So really glad that I did the bearing and actually got some grease in there finally. So. Anyway, it's going to be doing a startup today. It's, I think it's around uh, low 30s, uh, maybe 41, 42, not sure. But also got a new seat for this too. I ordered off eBay, so got rid of that crusty one that I had. But we'll do a startup. Like I said, this hasn't ran for a week. When was the last time I ran it? Was last Sunday, I think. So if the battery's not dead, it should fire up. I gotta get another battery before this winter. This one's kind of sluggish. And there you have it. I put about five hours on it since I've owned it. I still have to do an oil change, which I'm going to be getting the oil for the engine soon, so I can dump that. I already got the oil filter. And I also welded up my bucket the other day at work for it, my snow bucket. That's going to be five feet wide, and it's going to be the same design as this one on the Aaron, so it's going to be nice and deep, be able to hold a lot of snow with it. But anyways, folks, there you have it. That's the Kubota B7200D clutch bearing change.